would I say Felipe Anderson has been worth 40 million or 40 odd million? Um, to be honest with you, no. Uh, he's very inconsistent. He's one of our most creative players. Um, going forwards, you always get the idea that he should be making something happen. But more often than not, he fails to deceive. Last season, um, he done really well. He scored loads of goals. Um, you know, he looked all the time like he wanted to go forward. Learned to work back and help out defending. Um, but this season, but it's the same as everyone else. You know, everyone's been low on confidence this season. Nothing seemed to work out. We've been playing really poorly. You know, no ideas, you know, anything like that. But he's kind of the worst culprit for it where you, you expect more from him. Um, and he kind of seems like one of them players that he needs everyone else in the squad to be playing well to get the best out of him. And now for someone of his stature and what he's meant to be like, of his, you know, how he's regarded in world football, he uh, he needs to step it up a little bit more. Um, and I think that for someone who apparently was looking to use as a bit of a stepping stone to get to a better club, but he's flattering to deceive massively in that point. So for me, yes, he uh, he has started to deceive and um, no, he's not been worth the money, which is really hard. Cause I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of him. I like, I like him at West Ham. You know, I think he's got a lot about him, but and he needs to start doing more in a West Ham shirt. So no, he's not been worth the money, but we all know what he can do on his day. Hopefully he starts to produce that more often for this, this season. Hopefully we're desperate for him too. So uh, fingers crossed. So has Anderson been uh, worth 42 million quid? No, nah, not at all, has he? Um, he's got great skill, uh, great potential. I love the, the touch of the football that he's got, he, the way he can cre caress it, uh, the way he dribbles the football. Really good, and he can finish like can't he? Um, you know, he reminds me a lot of a younger Cristiano Ronaldo, how he used to start it out. Yeah? He's got a lot of potential. He could, uh, I'd bring him in off the wing, play him in the middle, just to see if that works, you know? That could work for him and freshen up the side. It really could, you know. He could play upside uh, against Haller. I think they'd be really good. They could work up a lovely partnership because him and Yem Yemelenko, uh, I think, have got a bit of a great understanding. So, um, no. So, yes, he's a great player. I think he could, but no, he ain't uh, shown his 42 million quid's worth yet. Yeah, he's uh, shown a quarter of that if. So um, we need a lot more from the lad. He gives up too much in my book at some time, especially defensively, where you've got to really roll your socks up and you know, or pull your sleeves up and go for it. He ain't got the bottle yet. He needs to learn that. But uh, let's hope he turns it on Saturday against Spurs. Half 12 Saturday. Come on, your. So, um, regarding this week's question about Philip Anderson being or not being value for money uh, regarding his uh, transfer fee uh, and his low uh, form uh, so far this season, um, I'd say even though he's not been performing so, uh, so well as he was last season, I still think that um, He's been value for money because even though uh, he's not given us uh, a lot of goals or assists this season, uh, if we were to sell him uh, in January or uh, in the summer, uh, we'd make profit uh, considering the, P the, the fee we've paid for him was uh, 35 million pounds. Um, with add-ons going to somewhere like uh, 42 million pounds and uh, he's been great uh, if you take into consideration the entirety uh, of his career uh, so far uh, at, at the club um, and I still think that even though he hasn't scored a goal uh, this season so far, um, he's created a lot of chances, he's uh, managed a few assists. I know it's not, uh, not, not enough so far, but yeah, uh, he's been, he has been value for money in my opinion.
Hi, this is Adam from the West Ham is Wild Drink podcast. Um, now, Felipe Anderson, is he worth the money? I think, I don't think this is a simple yes or no. Um, I'm going to say yes, uh, probably because most people will say no. I think he's having like a, a bit of a bad run of form. Um, but when he's on, he's so good. I mean, last season, he he killed it. The number of Team of the Week cards he got on FIFA was crazy. Um, more Way more than usual for a West Ham player. Um, I think we haven't seen his potential yet. Uh, one thing I will say, the guy looks like he's high. Like, he looks like sometimes he's smoked a joint before a match and, you know, goes out there to play. Um, but the times that he looks like he hasn't done that, he's electric and I think worth the money. Cheers. For me, I would have to say that despite uh, a slightly promising first season, so far this season, Anderson has been terrible. <laughs> if you told me without previously knowing that we'd bought him for £42 million, I would have laughed at you <laughs> massively. Um, he has done very, very little to prove that one he is actually a really good player um, and two that he is worth half of that amount if I'm being honest I mean he was brought in to be our fast pacey creative flary midfield attacking style player um, and on his day when he wants to he can and he does show it but for me that doesn't happen enough it's I mean, half the time, all I seem to see him is wander around the pitch. A bit like Lanzini, to be honest. I think them two are quite decent at the same job of uh, looking busy but not actually doing anything. Um, I know quite a few people would probably disagree with me and say that he does track back, he does chase the ball, he does help out his fellow players, blah de blah But for me, I don't know. I'm not seeing it. I will be honest. Um, I think he's lazy. Uh, when he wants to, yes, he will do something, but that is not enough. I mean, we're looking for a player to do that every game, not for 10 minutes when Man City or whoever he fancies playing today actually shows up. So I'm sort of convinced. I mean, I'm not saying we should sell him or anything stupid like that, but I do think he needs a kick up the butt, putting it politely, uh, a bit of a reality check, and uh, alongside most of the team, to be honest needs to uh, back up his ideas. So, yeah. Hello everyone, Kevin Sadie with Sex, Drugs and Carl and and this week's question from Hammers Pulse is, do you think Felipe Anderson has been worth the value of 42 million that we paid for him? Um, once again, very difficult question because teams like Man United are valuing Marcus Rashford at £100 million after he scored 10 goals in his best ever season for them. Uh, clubs are paying extortionate money for average players, i.e. Wobi for Everton, they paid 30, 40 million for him. Four or five years ago, they paid 30 million for um, uh, Yannick Blassie. Um, but the 42 million pound is a lot of money for West Ham to spend. Had you would have asked me this question last season, I would have said yes, it, it's been worth the 42 million pound. Uh, it was amazing for us last season, um, racked up a lot of assists, scored a lot of goals. Uh, this season, he hasn't even scored one goal for us, and we're now in November. Um, but seeing as the question is for this season, I'm going to say no, Felipe hasn't been worth the £42 million pound that we paid for him. Hopefully he can pick up some form starting from Saturday, because I still think we've got to see the best of uh, Felipe yet. Um, but as it stands, I'm going to say no. Come on, you arms. Is Felipe Anderson worth the £42-43 million pound price tag we, were, we have alleged to have paid in the summer of 2018? Well, first and foremost, we didn't pay that amount for him. We paid, if I remember correctly, we paid about 36, 35, 36 million down, and then there, there was instalments thereafter. Do I think he's worth that? No, I don't think there is. He is at all. Reason being is because we went, we had to go back about three times before we got a bid in. And if I remember correctly, the first bid that was rejected was around about 25, 26 million pound. That's pretty much how much I reckon he would have gone for if he'd have been sold to a non Premier League club. You know, in La Liga or Sierra or however, however bloody hell you pronounce it, but you know what I mean, right? 
that's the price I reckon people would have paid for him, around about the price that we paid for Allaire. Do I think he's worth about that? Yes and no. I mean, the, we all know that the football prices these days are well inflated anyway. Like the housing prices. You know, you we buy you buy a house twice, three times as much as it is actually worth. And it's likewise with the players nowadays. But we accept it because we're used to it seeing it on Football Manager and FIFA. But anyway, I digress. That's for another time. Um, but basically, no, I don't think he's worth it. We were warned by the supporters of the club that we bought him from that he was going to be very, very inconsistent and they were absolutely spot on with that. We were, um, and therefore, I don't. Therefore, we we shouldn't really be jumping to conclusions with with him. But at the same point, we have seen glimpses of what he's capable of, and we also know that he said very very early on last season that he wanted to be held in the same regard as Paolo Di Canio. Well, Felipe, if you're watching, step up. You need to prove that. <laughs> 